What's up guys, thanks for stopping by. Today's call, we got an evaporator to change on a reach-in cooler at a small convenience store. We're gonna be changing that in the cap tube. We're gonna be dumping the oil out of the compressor. Like I said in the previous video, I've had problems with these compressors that once they've gone low, it never really releases, no matter how much filtering and stuff you do. So we're gonna go ahead and get started with that. Probably not gonna be able to do a lot of talking, but I wanna basically just show you guys what I'm doing. I wanna thank all those new subscribers, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Make sure you click the notification bell down below so you're notified when the next video releases. And if you wanna support the channel down below, there's toolkits that I've put together of the tools that I use in my videos. You can purchase your tools through Amazon. I get a small commission. You still pay the same price. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Big coil, big coil. This evaporator is leaking. I was here a week ago and refilled it. Got them by. Basically, we got the cap tube. It looks like it's been replaced once before, and this thing only holds like four and a half ounces. And they had refrigerant added to it going way back quite a while. You get 2013, 2016. Keep an eye out for this, guys. These tend to leak quite often. Generally, it'll be enough water in there, you can see it bubbling. Usually, what I'll do with these is I'll use my 3D uh, 180 bender. And you can bend and make these yourself because if you buy these, they're expensive, and all it is is quarter inch tubing bent. You can bend your own, but it's really kind of hard to make a nice tight bend like that if you want to make it look good. So we're going to get this compressor out of here. Get this. particular level and we'll pump it back into it. We'll do it through the suction port here, back here in the back, and uh, that will uh, get the oil in it. We're going to do that very last thing though. Uh, we'll try to keep this oil from being uh, exposed as much as possible for the longest period of time.
see that one there is one that's where I pulled right off. So that's a problem just waiting for a place to happen.
reason why I went ahead and put a coating over both ends there was because I wanted to make sure it reinforced where I switched it at because that now is thinner and that's already pretty thin stuff to begin with. So. sure that this is actually going through the cap tube so we're going to put pressure on the high side it obviously can't go backwards through the valves so it's going to have to go through the cap tube if you're going to get any pressure out here on the on the suction here that tells me my capillary tube is open i'm going to use my regular gauge set on this but i'm going to use a uh, valve core tool which will help speed it up. So this only holds 4.5 ounces. That's why I didn't sit there and run the um, big hoses. I didn't run the big vacuum pump. That's why I went ahead and went through my hoses. Pulling through the core tool here made a humongous difference. I don't have a whole lot to evacuate here. So I go ahead and just do it through the trader core. Like I said, four and a half ounces. So this is one of those instances where I'm not gonna spend all day setting everything up. The payback is just not there. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to vacuum that out just in case any of the chunks of uh, nastiness that was in there get into anything. We got everything marked, then we got new evaporator cap tube. What I'm gonna do now, I got this valved off. Technically, I should remove the refrigerant out of this hose and then dump it back in what's in this hose. That should put me right in that 18 PSI mark is what I'm gonna assume. I'll go ahead and just leave this extra hose here because that filter dryer is a little bit bigger. So we'll see what we end up coming in at. And then on the oil, as you've seen, what I did with that is I went just a little bit higher because I knew I couldn't get all of it out of the pan. So I got that uh, all in there. You've seen all the nasty dye and stuff that somebody put in there originally. That dye is such a mess. Um, so we got all that garbage out of it. That's why we took this uh, accumulator, flipped it, for, uh, flipped it horizontally, and then uh, got all the leftover oil in there. So we do know that at least that's coming out. And uh, we got a clean evaporator, and uh, we should be pretty good. Looks like pressures are calming down. I might have to take this touch back out. We'll see here. Don't wanna jump the gun too quickly. I think we're gonna come right in perfect. I, I appreciate this a lot better than the other way where we have to add to uh, make up for either a capillary tube that wasn't uh, properly sized because they gave us the wrong information or whatever the case might have been. So I'm gonna let that run for a bit. We'll see what we get, but uh, pretty much that's the simplistic of it. We went ahead and uh, just basically broke the compressor loose and took the hot gas loose, flipped the compressor upside down. I didn't take apart the wiring and uh, basically uh, undid the filter dryer, put a new cap tube in there. Everything seems to be working pretty good. It's a little bit warm. We had to take about equivalent to what the hoses would have lost. Got her down to about 155 there, which is about 113 degree condensing temperature, which there is some restrictions here because of the filter and it's pulling it from underneath the uh, cooler. So I expect it to be just a little bit higher. But we're running a 16 degree uh, evaporator. We're coming back cool and cold, not freezing, not uh, flashing, anything like that. We look pretty good. We got our capillary tube all strapped and insulated back together. Got everything away from anything that would vibrate on it. And uh, we're pretty much pretty good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. If you guys enjoyed the video and you wanna see more like it, please give it a thumbs up. And until next time guys, we will catch you on the next one.